Hey there guys, Skippy here, coming from Skippy6 Gaming, coming to you with a quick kind of overview tutorial for our PS4 friends that just jumped onto Minecraft recently. Um, this is an advanced enchanting table tutorial. On this tutorial here, I'm going to show you, you know, there is a rhyme and reason to how you create your enchanting table. Um, again, I don't know, I wasn't really sure I was going to redo this tutorial for everybody, but I, lately I've been going into people's survival worlds where they put together like two bookshelves and, and, and then they're like, oh, enchant right there. I'm like, what are you doing? That That's horrible. Um, this is where I get all my nice stuff here. Again, we are on creative, but uh, this is kind of just like my area that I show everybody how to do it. So what I'm going to do is just get some glowstone so that we can brighten up our life, make sure everybody sees everything good. And there you go. So. I use this one here, not that I really use it in my creative world anyway, but here we are with some examples. So guys, these are all the different ways you could do it. So I mean, some of the people, some of the people's survival worlds that I go to don't even have this. Um, I would say this is almost like the minimum standard of what you need to enchant. Um, looking online, doing different research and like throughout the different console editions. Again, this is PS4 I'm on. It works for console edition across the board, Xbox, Xbox Live or Xbox One, sorry, PS3, PS4. So here we are and we have an enchanting table, no corners. So the big argument online was do the corners help, do the corners not help? The corners for sure help. So what you really want is to have a row of one all the way around it and then surrounded by books. So to start that off, we're gonna go into this enchanting table right here and let's throw that sword up there. Look, 24 is the max you're gonna get. Let's just, 24, 18. Pretty much you've maxed out, you're not gonna really get much. 24 isn't it, man, 30 at least, 30 is the big stuff. So we know that this enchanting table right here doesn't work that good, it's very clear. Um, it does work better than nothing, um, but if you go over here, this is the same exact enchanting table, um, except with corner bookshelves. So let's try this one out. There you go, level 30. Um, let's try something different and go in there with this shovel. Level 30, 20. 30, 20, 30, 19. And there you go, we'll leave that sword down there. Again, level 30 is the highest you can go, but I know for maximum value, the way it is after looking up online and researching through various websites and different people's opinions, the actual best way to get enchantments is this way right here. It is two of those high. So basically you are double high. Um, and this is the maximum way to get your enchantments. You will get the maximum value. Again, it will only go up to level 30 on your screen, but I ensure, assure you that this is gonna get you much better enchantments than the half seas table. Um, <clears throat> you can even see the kind of glow coming even from the top as well. So basically go over here. Let's check it again. Level 30 is going to be as high as it goes, but you'll see an overall placement with a 3027. What's going on? 3013, 3030. Look at that. Two 30s in one. Um, I guarantee you right now, guys, if you want to build an enchanting table and you want to get the best enchantments that you can get, that this table right here, we're going to look at it one, two, three, four, five. It's a five by five by five by five. And there you go, guys. That's gonna be the best way to get your enchantments. Um, keep a lookout. I mean, some of my favorite enchantments are Fortune 3, you know, get that fortune going to start getting more pickups. Um, and there you go. This one here, guys, don't even look at it. It's, it is the creative mode <laughs> where I just was trying to see what happens if you totally box it in. Um, that said, it really gives the same results as the other one. Um, yeah, there you go. But this is just for my creative world and I wanted to kind of show everybody that there was no difference between this one and the one on the end. I think the main the main factor with this one here is yes, it'll get you that level 30, but is it gonna get you the high up level 30s? Um, I'm not sure, 23, 30, 24, 30. But you notice on this one over here, we got a 30 and a 30 in one swoop. Um, so that said, if you guys wanna make your enchanting tables, this is the easiest tutorial to follow simply follow this don't do this one don't do this one you know what this one if you have no choice because honestly guys one of the first things I do in a survival world that becomes a little bit like a chore is is hunting down leather and paper and all the stuff you need to make a huge enchanting table area so there you go guys this is the right enchanting table right here um, 
I know people that are on creative world or on survival worlds nonetheless that can make this automatic and pop out of the ground. Um, either way, this one works perfect for me. I hope that you guys like this. I know that enchanting tables are something that people often ask about um, and I hope this helps you out. If you think this video is awesome, hit that like underneath the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Wicked tutorials. Thanks for tuning in and this is Skippy and I'm out.